Happy lunch hour, guys. Okay, sometimes you need a good laugh. And <laughs> this, if it wasn't so sad, it's actually funny. Uh, you know, we got Mrs. P and I this morning went and did our grocery run, right? And it was so fun, you know, to, oh my God, look at prices and shortages. And, you know, I mean, went in there, grocery store had no chicken breasts whatsoever. I mean, nothing, you know, it was like legs and thighs was what was there. That was it. Okay. I don't have to tell anybody about high prices and I don't have to tell anybody about shortages in certain things. Every week there's something different, shortages. Yeah. You know, a lot of people struggle with the prices of what's out there. And a lot of people struggle with uh, the availability of items too. Now, I'd say we can probably all agree that Young parents probably struggle as much, if not more, than any other group, if you wanted to lump people in. I'd say young parents and <clears throat> the elderly are probably your two most struggling demographics. You know, we talked about, we all know about, you know, the baby formula shortage. Uh, we know about the diaper shortage, things like that. You know, it, it's hard to come by some of these things. And you've got a newborn or you've got a baby, you know, those are things you need, right? Well, the funny part is you get into the liberal media, all right, and how desperate they are to gin up support for <laughs> liberals. Okay, there's no other way to put it. Now, I'd be hard-pressed to name a media outlet <clears throat> that is more biased and has the... I'd, I'd be hard-pressed to find anybody who has le less competent journalists, okay, than Yahoo. Yahoo has got to... Be, I mean, when, when your career has failed at CNN, okay, you go to MSNBC, when your career's failed at MSNBC, you go work at Yahoo. When your career fails at Yahoo, you go get a job scraping dog shit off of shoes at the state park, okay? Because obviously, that's about what qualifications you have. This has got to be the stupidest thing, and at the same time, the funniest thing I've ever read. And I'll link this below so you can read it, but this is the headline. I want you to hear this. America is facing a diaper crisis, and the anti-abortion movement is making it worse. Gee, we don't have enough pampers. We need to abort more babies so we have enough diapers. I mean, literally. This is how silly it is, okay? The funny part is she goes in and the... the author of this, the, you know, I don't know, you know, she probably went to the Greta, Greta Thunberg School of Journalism or whatever, you know, completely unqualified. Uh, <clears throat> but the funny part is she comes up in here and tries to quote fa a fact and completely is clueless. And in the article, it says this, in fact, two Ohio programs, a diaper bank and an anti-abortion center, okay, each received $50,000 in public dollar, in federal public dollar, $50,000 in federal public dollars. The Columbus Diaper Bank allocated $30,000 towards supplies, while the anti-abortion center, Elizabeth New Life Center, spent just $26.50. Now she's supposed to say, look, oh, how great they did, you know. I want you to stop and think about this. In fact, two programs, a diaper bank, this is what they do, diapers, got $50,000 and spent $30,000 on diapers. Where'd the other 20 grand go? Where'd the other 40% of the federal money you got for a diaper bank go if it didn't go toward diapers? I mean, really? You have that much overhead in a diaper bank that that 40% of any federal tax dollars that you receive need to go pay your salary? The other one, oh, but the Elizabeth New Life Center just spent $26.50 on diapers. Yeah, they're not a diaper bank. 
That's not what they do. They offer counseling for women on what their options are, working with adoption centers, et cetera, et cetera. That's what they do. They are not a diaper bank. <laughs> I mean, it's just, I, I read this and I'm like, you've got to be kidding me, okay? The solution to a shortage of diapers is stop having babies. That, that's, the, that's the liberal solution to this. Oh, gee, you got pregnant? There's not enough diapers. I'd suggest you get an abortion because we, we can't supply you with diapers. Really? You know, it's not like, gee, I want apple pie for dessert. Well, we don't have any apples, so, you know, we'll make blueberry pie instead. No, you know, uh, I, if this wasn't so silly and so moronically idiotic, it would be funny, but it's, it's just sad. Okay. She goes in and starts talking about temporary assistance for needy families and stuff like that. And, oh, only 23% of the, the, the people below the federal poverty level, uh, qualify for uh, TANF assistance. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, how much do you need? You know, you're getting a welfare check. Chances are, if you're a single mom, you're getting child support, okay? Uh, collecting it is a different animal. Don't get me started there, okay? You're getting food stamps. You're getting Section 8. I mean, you wonder why we have a problem with employment. I, I mean, you've got some of these places and some of these people that are making a good living by not working. I mean, I forget what the actual figure is, but Massachusetts pays like 1235 bucks a week for unemployment, you know, top rate. I mean, start doing the math, guys. That's 60 grand collected on unemployment, okay? Just saying, that's an annual salary. That's more than a lot. Of, that's more than the median wage, more median income in the United States. But... You know, so now we're starting to talk about how do we solve the problem? Well, here's the latest depopulation idea. Let's just stop having kids because, you know, if Pampers and Loves can't make enough diapers and we can't ship them around, well, we can't figure out how to make more diapers. We need to figure out how to make less kids. Again, I'm going to say the same thing. This is a great idea if you limit it to liberals. Because allowing liberals to reproduce is the greatest sin to mankind. Enjoy the rest of the day.